Hello everyone, this is Yomi, and today, in my first ever Star Citizen gameplay video, I will be flying around this race course in a 300i uh, to demonstrate my custom made controller, which you can see a video of on the same channel. It has all analog axes, pitch, roll, and yaw, horizontal and vertical strafing, and throttle control. Now, this control scheme is not perfect, not because of the controller, but because of the limitations of the game at the moment. Um, analog strafing is not allowed, it's just strafing or not strafing at the moment. Hopefully that will be changed to allow intermediate states. And the throttle is currently on a slider rather than on the um, controller triggers, because those are, can only be interpreted as an Xbox. Uh, trigger button rather than as an analog axis in its own right. Apologies if I crash, I've only been uh, flying in racing mode and with this controller for about half an hour. So, this controller, as well as doing what you'd expect a HOTAS to be able to do, also has independent view, which will be very useful for combat which I'll hopefully be trying out in my next video. Checkpoint. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how smooth and free this lets you fly. Okay, sorry for the cut there. I'm just de demonstrating things such as circle strafing, which can be done in uh, decoupled mode. So I'm trying to orbit this pole here by keeping a lock on it while accelerating towards it as fast as I can. It should lead to uh, an elliptical orbit, which might be quite large, unfortunately. And I'm also trying to adjust my um, inclination to keep level if I can. Now it doesn't matter which way I'm rolled round, it won't affect things at all also use strafing to adjust my orbit and try to bring these into balance. So as you can imagine, um, orbiting around a large ship would be very useful, so you keep moving so they can't hit you. Alright, now I suppose we should get back in the race. Just a little way away do some precision flying and hopefully not crash into these buildings. Wrong direction. I know it's the wrong direction. Alright, here we go. Oh, that was pretty close. It must be admitted. Alright, so that will probably just about wrap up this video, just a quick uh, demonstration of the controller, which is a complete success. And in the next video I'll be demonstrating how the independent aiming can be used to hopefully uh, be effective in the Vandal Swarm and possibly multiplayer mode when I end up back to Oops, just lacking it a bit. Alright, the strafing is extremely useful, as I think has been shown. Yeah, you can do lots of nice maneuvers. And the brake is also very useful. Right. I guess I'll stop when I crash. It seems to be going quite well at the moment. Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. That was an inglorious end. But there you have it. Until next time.